We have inserted the first connections into our model and learned how to insert custom connections from Connection Center. In today's presentation, we will explain the group of moment connections and the connection configuration in the program. From the Steel Connection tab, select the end plate icon, then click on the roof rafter and then on the column. In the Layout tab, we will configure the geometry of gusset plates as in the example shown on the screen. Then, open the Holes tab and configure the spacing of bolts in the connection. We will change the layout of the connectors and their diameter. You can also add thickness of the welds joining the webs and flanges. In the Stiffeners tab we can add ribs and stiffening plates to the joint, whereas by going to the next tab we can increase the effective height of our joint. The connection in the ridge is built in a similar way as in the presented example between the column rafter. We selected the connection from previously configured template. The creation of templates will be discussed in another video called Copying Connections. The program also allows to create secondary end plate connections. In this case we used a template prepared earlier for geometric settings. In the case of non-standard structures with non-orthogonal axis and non-standard sections, for example pipe sections, connections can be found in the Connection Center library. In individual tabs, we will find all necessary configuration options to adjust the geometry of our connections. 